I think it's important that uh, the group coming together, and especially at Mullamusa, where you have um, people in separate houses um, and sharing their experiences uh, through music, through reminiscence, through their time at school, their childhood. And it's lovely to come along today and see like, all the work, the visualization of it, um, the sounds, and even their chatting with the tenants and them so I'm talking about, oh, I remember. Um, being back at school or I uh, remember being at school in the Bowman and that's just from the sounds that we have heard today and we in particular one lady has said that she lived in Cookstown and they could hear the Bowman in Cookstown and she says and I remember being at school when that happened another lady and I know the visualizations are coming at you quite uh, quickly um, another lady was able to say oh my so many memories I have here from just watching that and she was able to relate some stories back again which is fantastic documentary was very emotional and even seeing just the journey of all the weeks together was lovely I love looking back on and that's what's so important and when you're dealing with um, a project that is based on well-being and not something really visually there but just the feelings that people have experienced every week this has been fantastic I mean you've left our tenants with wanting more which is a good way to leave people and they really want Paul back and just those that chance to have had the reminiscence and the memories that have um, and for them to recognize use now and to feel a part very much a part of Sydenham Court is fantastic and it's been wonderful having the opportunity we're really grateful so thank you <laughs> well I didn't realize what was in my mom's head we were just looking at her petrified and um, whenever I put the earphones on and you're hearing all the different sounds coming from all different angles just made me realise well, yeah, that's what she's been listening to and we didn't realise it and she's been that was the most enlightening part now of being here today and it was just as if a light bulb went off here this because whenever my brother used to come up with the grandchildren or my grandchildren when I'm then she was fine great talking away and then you could just see her just slowly but surely drawn into herself and she's obviously listening to the children talk John and I talk and then the grandchildren and she wasn't able to do it so that to me is the most enlightening thing today that I never would have thought I know she's passed away now I never would have thought for a minute that that was going on in her head it's just lovely to be here today to um, be involved I suppose at the start of a project gathering groups together suggesting who might enjoy the project and then to be in an, at an event like this where you see the end product um, and all the wonderful things that have happened in the meantime so it's brilliant for Belfast Trust to be able to offer these experiences to um, the people in their care and um, obviously the evidence in terms of arts engagement and older people is, is building and mounting as to the positive benefits of that and that's something that we're very keen to give access to um, the residents of the supported housing of the day centres and to also support our arts organisations who are keen to engage in that work as well would be something that we're very keen to do as well. So brilliant just to see all the smiling faces and the happy people and exploring things and exchanging ideas. Really, really, really powerful stuff.